couple of reasons why 2023 is a critical year for CCUS. Number one, uh, it's just exactly one year after the Inflation Reduction Act in the U.S. has been enacted, so it's one year, and we are seeing more and more projects coming up. It's also one year after uh, quite a lot of major policy reports have happened and come out in Europe. It's also the year where there's COP28, and it's the, it's the midpoint after COP15 in Paris and 2030 target, so it's a, mid, a midpoint after that. However, I think the most important point is most of the industrial companies out there and most of the emitters out there have now started to make commitments around decarbonization. And I'm absolutely sure carbon capture utilization storage, CCUS, is a key element of that. And hence 2023 is super important. I think net zero is super important for humanity as a whole. If you think about this planet is not, does not belong to one generation, our generation. It actually belongs to the future generations. So it is an obligation that we actually do something about climate change. I mean, it is real, it's happening right now. And net zero is one of the best tools, one of the best mechanisms that we can ensure that we can at least have a chance at reversing that climate change. And hence, it's extremely important for us. Look, it's a, it's a great place and my key takeaways from 2023 CCUS conference, a couple of them. I think one, I absolutely agree with what the Secretary of State, Right Honorable Claire Cugino said yesterday. Uh, CCUS is one sector that needs doubling down, right? I mean, it, there, is, uh, there is no second planet that we have, so we absolutely need to work hard to make that happen. So that's one. Uh, I think second is the, uh, is the space for collaboration and uh, joint development. I think a lot of conversation and happening and conference uh, like today and yesterday over the two days is demonstrating that there is a lot more conversation, a lot more collaboration that needs to happen. So I'm quite excited about that as well. Uh, however, I think third is the real action on the ground. I think people are realizing just today there is a major project in, U in, the, in, in Europe that's been FID'd and taken forward. The decision has been taken. So I think we need to look forward to more and more of these decisions as we, as we work towards uh, COP28, which is less than 50 days from now.